Just 21 months and 5 days after inheriting a program in disarray, coming off a 3-win season and mired in an NCAA investigation, Josh Hoipel has Tennessee ranked the no. 1 team in college football. The unbeaten Vols were in the top spot when the College Football Playoff Selection Committee unveiled its debut rankings on Tuesday night, marking the first time since the 1998 National Championship season that Tennessee has been the top team in the land. Hoipel appeared on ESPN after the rankings were released to discuss the occasion and his team's rapid ascension. Tennessee goes into Saturday's top three showdown at Georgia, the defending national champion Bulldogs are no. One in both polls but were no. Three in the debut CFP rankings behind Ohio State at no. Two with an 8-0 record that's included five wins against ranked teams, and the Vols have two wins against top 10 teams in the first CFP rankings, no. Hoipel took the Vols to a 7-6 record in 2021 and through each step of this remarkable season he's reminded his team to enjoy the moments such as having college game day in Knoxville twice and the wild celebrations after the 52-49 win against the Crimson Tide. So it's no surprise he got ahead of Tuesday night with his team during another big game week. We talked about it earlier in the week, knowing that the rankings were going to come out, Hoipel said on ESPN. Didn't know where we would be ranked, but figured we would be somewhere near the top. At the end of the day, one of the things that our players have done here is we've tried to enjoy the journey and take moments of pause to reflect and enjoy what our players have built here. Three years ago, it didn't look like this, but this is a proud tradition and a massive fan base that loves the power tee, and they're excited about the way our players are playing. They understand that the reason that we're in this situation is because of the way we prepare, the way we practice, and then we go play for each other on game day. That's going to be the same message this Saturday. Tennessee went to Georgia during the pandemic impacted 2020 season rank and on the heels of an eight-game winning streak, but was mauled in the second half and went on to lose seven of the remaining eight games, all by double digits. Jeremy Pruitt was fired in mid-January after 16 wins in three seasons and amid an NCAA investigation that turned up 18 major recruiting violations. More than two dozen players, including several starters, jumped into the transfer portal. After entering this season just outside the top 25, Tennessee's rise has included wins at Pittsburgh and LSU and against rivals Florida, Alabama and Kentucky at home, and the Vols have been led by the top offense in college football, a unit led by quarterback Hendon Hooker and wide receiver Jalen Hyatt that averaged 49.4 points and 553 yards per game. I don't know that we placed a time frame on it, Hoipel said. I think that's one of the things that actually had our players buy into what we're doing. Obviously our guys' habits have allowed us to play really consistently here in the early part of the season. There's a long ways to go. We've obviously got a huge test this week in Athens, Georgia, but I love competing with this team every Saturday. Tennessee is the first team not named Alabama, Georgia, Clemson or Ohio State to be ranked no. One in the debut CFP rankings since Mississippi State in 2014. The Bulldogs also happen to be the last and only team not to reach the 14 playoff after being no. For Tennessee, this is just the 16th time it has been no. One, and the Vols are 15-0 in their history as the no. The Vols play at Georgia in Athens on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. on CBS.